Lately, I've been hearing some intermittent clunking noise coming from the front driver side of my wheels in my 2011 Acura MDX. They are more pronounced during bumps and turns. I did check under the vehicle on the driver's side and I found out that the outer tie rod boot is ripped and of course it is leaking grease. So that means the outer tie rod is probably rubbing against the steering knuckle almost metal to metal and that's probably why we're hearing that clunking noise. This outer tie rod needs to be replaced obviously and it will probably cost you an average of about 100 to 400 bucks US and it's it depends usually where you're at and what kind of car you have but if you decided to do it yourself like me and have already the tools needed you'll just go going to spend about less than 50 bucks and you just need a little bit of uh, elbow grease so stick around if you want to save and learn how to replace the outer tie rods I'm Hashra DD and this is the Daily Driving Channel So what are tie rods? What do they do? Well, they serve as a pivot point between the steering rack, the steering arm, and the steering wheel. The tie rods not only help move your wheels when you steer, but they make turning possible. It has two parts, the inner tie rods and the outer tie rods. You know that they're going bad if you hear clunking noises and steering wheel noises and vibrations. And when that happens, you check it right away and bring it to the shop. So today we are going to change the left side outer tie rod DIY edition on this 2011 Acura MDX. Changing the tie rods is not car specific on this video. This will be applicable to almost all passenger vehicles with probably some with some minor differences first and foremost let's gather our tools and materials needed so we need a jack and jack stands wheel chucks lug wrench and breaker bar we need a wrench set socket set a locking plier or a vice grip a hammer a tie rod separator tool or a pickle port course we need the uh, replacement outer tie rods I'll put up a link down below on the parts number uh, for this uh, tie rod on the uh, Acura MDX 2011 we also need a penetrating uh, fluid or a PB blaster and hopefully I'm not gonna use the blowtorch today Next is preparing our vehicle. This involves jacking up the car and removing your wheel safely. There's a video link here in the upper right hand corner and down below on the step by step guide on how to safely jack up your car and removing your wheels. After doing that, um, let's go to the front driver's side and inspect the uh, tie rod that needs replacement. Let's turn our wheels all the way to the right to better expose the outer tie rod in question and also to provide more space to work on. Uh, let's go ahead and spray some penetrating oil or uh, the PB blaster on the tie rod end. Also to the castle nut and gem nut to make it easier to remove. Next is to remove the cutter pin with a plier like this. All right, it's out. Then with the breaker bar, let's loosen the castle nut. Then remove it using a socket. I 
believe this is uh, 17 mil. As you can see here, the castle nut is just spinning with the tie rod stud and we're not going anywhere. The trick here is that you have to have a vice grip or a locking plier. Uh, put it where the uh, boot seats, lock it tight and then uh, remove the uh, castle nut easily. If you're unable to separate the tie rod end from the steering knuckle, we thread the castle nut back and just about flush on the top, then hammer the top of the outer tie rod stud out from the steering knuckle. And if still wouldn't budge like this one, you could use a tie rod separator or uh, the what we call pickle pork. You could buy one from Harbor Freight, um, inexpensive, and um, install it like this, like in the video, and slowly tighten the bolt till it pops out. Now that the uh, outer tie rod end is out from the steering knuckle, let's go ahead and loosen the gem nut like so. But since it's been there uh, quite a bit, it won't kind of come off that easy. What I did was I reconnected the tie rod stud back to the steering knuckle. That way it's stable enough not to wobble around along with the uh, tie rod while you apply some serious um, elbow grease power to the to loosen the gem knot if it wouldn't budge even with the pb blaster soaking in uh, some muscle power you go ahead and apply heat to the area with a torch for about at least two minutes then strike it while it's still hot you'll be surprised how easy that gem knot will come off like so just take note how many turns did you loosen that gem nut. This is to approximate the last good uh, position to maintain the um, previous alignment uh, as close as possible. Then use a wrench to loosen and remove the outer tie rod from the inner tie rod. Count the numbers of count the number of turns it takes to remove the outer tie rod. This will help again when stalling the new one. Uh, and also to approximate the last good position for maintaining the alignment. Now we're, we are ready to screw the new one. So let's go ahead and uh, thread the new outer tie rod onto the inner tie rod using the same number of terms as when you, we remove the old one. We do this to keep the alignment as close as possible for us to drive the car safely to the alignment shop later on then um, let's insert the tie rod end into the steering knuckle and then secure it with the castle nut
We're going to use a torque wrench to tighten the castle nut to the manufacturer's specifications, which is about 72.3 foot pounds of torque in this 2011 Acura MDX. And, uh, and then we are ready to install the new color pin on the top of the tire and stud to secure the castle nut. We are almost done, so let's put the wheel back on the hub and tighten the lug nuts snugly. Let's carefully lower the car off the jack stands using the jack. Once the vehicle is back on the ground, let's fully tighten the lug nuts in a star pattern to, ins to ensure even pressure. And don't forget also to um, tighten the lugs uh, using a torque wrench. I believe this MDX has a 94 foot pounds, foot pounds of torque. Lastly, I know you saved some money doing this. Use the money you save and change to send your car for a proper alignment after changing the tie rods. This last step is a must. If you like this video and has helped you, Give us a thumbs up and possibly subscribe for us to make more videos like this one. And thanks for watching again.